Hello everyone and welcome back. Till the previous session, we have covered the additions of both binary and hexadecimal number systems. In this session, we are going to learn about the subtraction in binary number system. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topics that we are going to cover in this session. At first, we are going to build the foundation of subtraction. Thereafter, we will learn about the subtraction in binary number system. So let's focus on the foundation of subtraction. Now we are going to build the foundation of subtraction using our familiar decimal number system. Let's now perform a basic subtraction in decimal. Say we are going to perform the subtraction 9 minus 5. Now what will be the result? It is going to be 4, isn't it? Let's now learn about the different components of the subtraction. Well, the number from which we are subtracting something, we call that minuend. Coming to the value which is being subtracted from minuend, we call it subtrahend. And the result is known as difference. In other words, the difference between 9 and 5 is 4. Now apart from these three, there is another component. And in order to understand that, let me perform another subtraction where we will take the minuend as 22 and the subtrahend this time is going to be 8. Now we are going to perform this subtraction using the pen and paper method. Now notice the digits in the least significant bits place. In the minuend we have 2 and in the subtrahend we have 8. So clearly in the minuend if we only consider the least significant digits place, it is less than the subtrahend. So what do we do usually in this case? We convert this as 12. Then we perform the subtraction between 8 and 12 and the result is going to be 4. Now since we have taken this 1, we bring this 1 down in here and then we subtract this 1 from 2 which will result in 1. And this way usually we get the difference of 22 and 8 as 14. Now let me explain what exactly happened when we perform the subtraction using our way. Now focus on the minuend, it is 22. Now if we talk about the place values, since it is a two digit number, the place values are 10 raised to the power 0 and 10 raised to the power 1. Notice the digit in tens place, it is 2, which in reality is 20. Now coming to the digit of units place, it is 2. So we will have that in the units place. So clearly, 20 and 2 cumulatively is creating the number 22. Now if you remember when we started the subtraction, since the least significant digit of minuend was lesser than the subtrahend, we converted this as 12. Now the question is, what exactly did we do in this case? Well, from 20, we took 10 and added that with 2, making it 12. And thereafter from 12, when we subtracted 8, we got the result 4. Now if you recall, as we took 1 and made it a bigger number, considering the least significant digits, we also placed this back in the tens place. Now let me explain what exactly did we do in here. Well, if you notice, we took 10 from 20 and added that with 2, making 2 as 12. However, when we took 10 from 20, we never reduced it, did we? So from 20, if we take 10, what will 20 become? It is going to become 10, right? So exactly that has been done when we placed 1 in here, because from 2, that is 20, we are subtracting 10, and the result is going to be 1. So this is how we got the difference 14 from 22 minus 8. Now as kids, we used to do the subtraction in this way. And the reason for that was, we were given 22 and 8, and we had no way to modify these. Now today we are using animation, so let me explain what exactly happens when we perform the subtraction like this. Now considering the least significant digits, the minuend is less than the subtrahend. Therefore, we will take 1 from here and make the least significant digit as 12. 
Now, when we are doing this, we took 1 from 2. So, this will become 1. So, basically, from the most significant digit, we took 1 and made the least significant digit 12. In reality, from the most significant place, or if we only consider the most significant place, which was 20 initially, we took 10 and adding that with 2, we made the number as 12. So, if put simply, we can say from the most significant digit, we took 1. Now, from 12, if we subtract 8, we get the result as 4. And since we have already reduced the number in the most significant digits place, from 1, if we subtract nothing, that is 0, we will get the result as 1. Notice, since the minimum was lesser than the subtrahend, in order to make it a bigger number, we actually borrowed 1 from the most significant digit. So, this is the other term which I was mentioning previously when subtraction is involved. Remember, we have got minuend from which we subtract something. We have got the subtrahend which is subtracted from the minuend. We get the difference which happens to be the result. Also, we have got the borrow. Now, remember, the borrow will only be used if in the minuend we have the value which is lesser than subtrahend. In that case, in order to make the minuend a bigger number than the subtrahend, we will borrow and we will always borrow 1 because if you notice, whenever we perform subtraction, just like addition, we perform the subtraction on every unit. So, if we are considering them as units, we are considering only one digit numbers. And from any one digit number, the lowest two digit number is always greater. So, if we just borrow 1, the minuend will become bigger than the subtrahend. Because the subtrahend, even if we are talking them as units, it is a single digit number. So, borrowing 1, if now from 14 we subtract 8, we will get the result as 6. So, this is the basic foundation of subtraction. Let's now focus on the subtraction in binary. Now, as we are talking about binary, we know in binary we have got the symbols 0 and 1. And just like addition, here also we will try to find out the patterns. Therefore, from 0, we will subtract 0 and 1 both the symbols. Also from 1, we will subtract 0 and 1. Let's now perform the subtractions. Now, before we proceed further, let's call the minuend A and the subtrahends B. Now, from this, I believe you already have got the idea that we are going to create the truth table. And remember, just like the truth table of addition, the truth table of subtraction will also help us perform all the subtraction that can happen in binary number system. Let's now proceed with the subtraction. Notice, minuend is 0 and the subtrahend is 0 as well. That is, this particular case. Now, from 0, if we subtract 0, the difference is going to be 0, isn't it? So, let's enlist that. Now, what about the next case where the minuend or A is 0 and the subtrahend or B is 1? That is this particular case. If you notice carefully, this time the minuend is less than the subtrahend. Therefore, we are going to borrow and it is going to be 1. Because if you remember addition, the maximum value of carry in case of binary is also 1. And borrow is also similar to carry. Therefore, the maximum value of borrow is also going to be 1. Now, notice we are talking about 1, 0. Now, 1, 0 in binary is actually 2 in decimal. So, from 2, if we subtract 1, we will get the difference as 1. So, for the case when minuend is 0 and subtrahend is 1, the difference is 1. So, let's enlist that. And what was the borrow? It is 1. So, let's enlist that too. Coming to the next case, that is 1 minus 0. That is the minuend is 1 now. And the subtrahend is 0. So, clearly, we are going to get the difference as 1. Let's enlist that too. What about the last case? That is, A is 1. That is the minuend is 1. And the subtrahend, that is B, is also 1. Clearly, 1 minus 1 will give us the difference 0. We are going to enlist that too. So, from all these cases, only in the case when A or the minuend was 0, 
and b or the subtrahend was 1 we got the difference as 1 also the borrow as 1 now what about the rest of the cases we didn't really have to borrow anything so that was empty and we all know we can specify empty using the symbol 0 can't we so for all the other cases in the truth table let's have zeros now this is a complete truth table for subtraction in binary let me now perform a subtraction in binary to illustrate how using this truth table of subtraction we can perform any subtraction in binary say this time we are going to have the minuend as 1001 and the subtrahend say we have got 0010 let's perform the subtraction at the first unit we have got 1 minus 0 that is this particular case so we will have the difference as 1 and we are borrowing nothing so the least significant bit of the result is going to be 1 coming to the next unit notice 0 minus 1 that is this particular case now for this the difference is going to be 1 and the borrow is going to be 1 let's now get back to our subtraction currently we are dealing with this place right now we could have borrowed 1 from this place that is the place next to it if we had 1 in here but we don't have 1 in this place right we have 1 as the most significant bit so we will start borrowing from here now if we borrow 1 from here this will make the next place as 1 0 now we borrowed 1 from this place that is the most significant place so this place will now be turned to 0 now notice this is now 1 0 that is 2 in decimal and we still haven't got to our place so we have to borrow 1 from here and we will place it in here now from 1 0 or 2 if we borrow 1 it is going to become 1 isn't it so now we have borrowed 1 that is this one we were talking about now from 1 0 if we subtract 1 we will get the difference as 1 which was enlisted here in the truth table let's focus on the next unit that is this place 1 minus 0 that is this case once again so the difference is going to be 1 let's have that and we won't need to borrow anything since the minuend is more than the subtrahend finally from 0 we are subtracting 0 that is this particular case so the difference is going to be 0 and we need not borrow anything so let's have the difference as well therefore the subtraction of 1001 and 0010 is 0111 let's now check whether our subtraction was correct or not and for that we will need the place values now since all of these are 4 bit numbers the place value of the least significant bit is going to be 2 raised to the power 0 or 1 for the next place the place value is going to be 2 raised to the power 1 or 2 for the next place it is going to be 2 squared or 4 and finally for the most significant bits place it is going to be 2 cubed or 8 notice 8 plus 1 will give us 9 in decimal now what about the subtrahend 2 so 2 in decimal now from 9 if we subtract 2 we are supposed to get the result as 7 did we get that well let's check 4 plus 2 that is 6 plus 1 that is 7 so this is how using the truth table we can perform the subtraction now i have my personal favorite way you can also follow that by the time we have the minuend which is lesser than the subtrahend start considering all the bits towards the left till we have the bit which is 1 then consider the same number of bits for both minuend and subtrahend and then perform the subtraction notice we have got 100 zero. now 100 zero zero of binary is actually 4 in decimal and in the subtrahend we have got 001 which is 1 also in case of decimal so from 4 if we subtract 1 we will get 3 and if we consider only these 3 bits notice 011 that is 2 plus 1 in other words 3 
Right now, don't consider these place values because here we have got the place values for all four pets. When I was talking about this particular segment, if you need to verify that, all you have to do is shift all these place values towards the left. That is, this is going to be our least significant bit and this will be our most significant bit. So if we consider this as the least significant bit, the place value of this is going to be 1, isn't it? Considering that if the place value of this is 1, this will be 2 and this will be 4. So 4 and 1. Similarly, its place value is going to be 1 and the place value of this is going to be 2. So 2 plus 1, we will have the result as 3. However, considering the entire thing altogether, we are going to have the value as 7 because in that case, this is the least significant bit, not this one. Anyway, that was all about the subtraction in binary. Now I believe it's a good time to give you some homework problems. Now coming to the first homework problem, as you can notice, in this case, both the minuend and the subtrahend are 4-bit binary numbers. So for this problem, I need you to perform subtraction from 1111, the subtrahend 1010. Now, apart from this, I have got another homework problem for you. Notice, in case of this, the menu end is of 5 bits. And this is why we also made the subtrahend a number of 5 bits. Now, in case of this problem, I have partially given you the answer. You need to find out the rest of the bits. Feel free to write down your answers in the comment section. So, in this session, we covered the topics, foundation of subtraction, which we understood using our very familiar decimal number system. Thereafter, we covered the subtraction in binary. Alright, people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we are going to learn some more about the subtraction in binary. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.